Hey team, on the couch is uh, Craig Wiggins, and um, you've been busy, mate, flat out. Um, yeah. and it's like a broken record every yeah. time I come in here. You say, you've been busy, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but um, doing good stuff, and there's more on your plate as well. Uh, talking plates, um, you're dishing up a barbecue tomorrow morning. Yeah, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, the Rural Woman or the, at the Winchmore Hall uh, ha are having a, uh, a barbecue, and it's to, of course it's to watch the All Blacks game. Um, so yeah, they I think they've got 55 or 60 people booked in for breakfast there, and so the farming families are doing the barbecue um, or helping out uh, the, you know with cooking, uh, and then next week Heinz Garage if you're a client or you're rural uh, down there in Heinz Heinz Mechanical Services they um, Alison Ian and the team up there uh, down there sorry I should say are putting on a barbecue next week as well so just rock on in and, and uh, get an Ansco burger um, Heine and the team from Ansco look after us really well yeah and uh, we'll um, we'll just have a chat with you or you just come and have some good food middle of carving um, just come get off the farm for five minutes and, and let us uh, cook your burger and and um, so yeah, I know uh, Alison's looking pretty, uh, pretty sharp on the uh, on the invites and that. But I guess if you're from down that area and and you want to be a part of it, just come on in. So Brilliant. lots of stuff going on in that farming family space, and we're always looking for more bodies to help. Um, so if you're interested in being a part of that, you want to cook a barbecue, or we've got events coming up as well. Just uh, get in touch with myself or Bruce Taylor, um, and we'll help. We'll certainly make uh, make use of you. That's for sure. Brilliant. I actually saw Heine out having dinner last night, and I said, um, in between his mouthfuls, and there wasn't a big gap in between those mouthfuls. <laughs> um, I said I'd like Ansco to sponsor the couch because I reckon that'd be really good, the, yeah. especially the community work that you know yeah. the people that are on this couch. I think it fits nicely with what they do too. And Definitely. I know they look after you guys, oh. and they're absolute champions at that. You know, find a good cause, and yep. Nothing's a problem, eh? Oh, so for us, for example, I mean, uh, we do quite a few meals for farmers that uh, are rural people that may need it if a house burns down or somebody's ill in hospital and the family needs support. So um, Ansco give us mints or um, um, casserole meat, steak meat and stuff like that. So we do all that and yeah. people cook it for us. And then Angel Bay burgers coming out of our ears for these barbecues. Yeah, and that's they're so worth good. a lot of money, those, yeah, if you go, gross. you know, but that's uh, really good. And yeah. Honestly, we just get a bulk pack and, and uh, don't tell Heine, but the odd one sneaks in my house occasionally too. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Good job it does too, mate. All right. Um, big race meeting at Methven on Sunday. Good yeah. to be back on the grass, isn't it? Oh, awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. They've got a brand new stable block and, and swab room up there at Methven. They've done a lot of work through the oh, winter. Good. I was talking to Ricky May just yesterday. He said track's um, pretty firm uh, this time of year. We've had, they've had a few nor'westers. Bit of grass on it to protect it, but it'll be a great day. And it's um, a blue uh, appeal, so prostate cancer. Um, you'll see a lot of drivers wearing um, the guys wearing blue um, pants and that. So wear something blue, get behind that appeal, and uh, but just bring your barbecues, bring your kids, um, lean on a gate, talk to a mate, whatever it takes. Just come up to Methven and, and um, enjoy the day up there. And uh, myself and Will will be um, Will Redwood will be clerking, and you got a kid you want to. Um, had a horse for the first time, bring him over the fence. I'm sure we can accommodate that too. Yeah, brilliant. All right. And how's your knee? It's not too bad. Um, it's, Tell it's, us about that. You did that when Oh, yeah, I did that clerking here at Ashburton about yeah. three or four weeks ago. Um, yeah, I just blew the ligament um, or ripped the ligament that comes up there. Just I was towing a horse around on the track. I think I might have damaged it earlier on the day. Um, yeah. And this horse just gave me a bit of a jerk as we were leading it. It actually turned around and ran back into the field. So it's my job to try and sort that out uh, at the start. And um, yeah, I just felt it go bang, and I thought, gee, that hurt. And then uh, I, I was fine while I was riding, and I went to hop off, and, and I ended up in a pile on the ground. So um, just had no knee for, and so a couple of weeks of looking after it and, and um, being careful. The hardest thing I do at the moment is walking down the ramps off the aeroplanes. I seem to still feel it then. But, oh, yeah. And we're doing a bit of that just quietly at the moment, too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you've been all over the shop. Um, all right, how's, how's the feel out in our rural space, mate? Is it, it, are, are people going all right? No, look, I've been everywhere from Wairau to, to Tapri, and um, people are under a lot of stress and concerned and waiting for the election. Um, there's a lot of sort of uneasiness as to where that's going to end up. Yep. Uh, I, I just, there's the one thing you can do, and we, we've done a couple of talks, one in Cambridge and one in uh, Pleasant Point uh, for young farmers, and that just recently. Uh, the one thing you can do is front foot those issues. So if things are tight, don't leave it till the bank comes on your door. Get in front of the bank and say, look, how are you helping us get through this? Because we know it's a cycle. Um, 
and and the other thing is to share that load like we've been you know you've had pup on here talking about that quite regularly if you can share that load you'll find there's a lot of people that are in that space with you and so sharing that load is really really important and if you're worried about your own mental health and well-being reach out but also give to somebody else and you'll find that what you get back is just so positive that you know it can be an uplifting thing as well. So, yeah. um, like I say, join join up with us on the farming families so barbecues and stuff like that, and um, and just you'll you'll get the good vibe that we get as well by doing what we do. But um, yeah, the, I guess the thing is, um, rural support trusts are really good, uh, and there's 14 chapters of that around the country. So every one of them's area specific, and we work alongside every one of them. To be fair. Uh, the, the the Cambridge event the other day for the young farmers was put on by the um, Waikato Coromandel Hauraki Rural Support Trust and so it was cool. We raised a bit of money for them while we were there. But I think the biggest thing is to just stay connected as much as you can. Um, yeah. and, and also too, you know, there's a lot of stress for the rural service industries and, and we do agri-connect with whatever with Wiggy that talk to those people. Your bank managers, your vets, your accountants and... Um, you know, uh, stock agents, they are in the pinch as well. They understand the pain you're going through. They're getting pressure to meet their markets and demands as well. Um, so every day, the fulcrum and all this as well, and we look to support them as much as we can. They're also the people that will note those subtle changes on farm and maybe bring them home um, a lot and, and hold on to them. Uh, we think they have a responsibility for their own well-being to pass them up and down the line and, and say, hey, look, I, I went out and saw Bill and, and things aren't as nice around the kitchen table as they normally are. What can mm. we do to help them? So, yeah. um, and, and that's, you know, I think it's all a matter at the moment of community strength and, and that's what we try and do with whatever with Wiggy. Strong people, strong uh, communities and vice versa. So... Uh, it's a matter of coming together at times like this. Yeah, it is. So I come to the Methan races and have a good day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard more townies talking about um, milk payouts and the yeah. roll-on effect yeah. for us uh, after this last announcement. I, you know, I think awareness is getting there, you know, and I think townies know that we're going to be in for some pain for the next year or so anyway on the back of this, but I think they are um, also looking to our friends out in the rural areas and saying, how can we help? Yeah, and, and, and we cool. see, you, see you hurting and, yep. and and we have, you know, some some feels. Yeah, and everybody goes through a time in their life where they have a bit of hurt and a bit of trouble. Um, and it's a matter of, um, like I say, everybody just coming together and sharing the load. Uh, believe me, the farmers realise the flow-on effect of, of what's happening on farm is going to affect people in Ashburton and Methven yep. and rural centres. We, we know that all around the country, we know that. Um, and there'll be no rural-urban divide in this. Everybody has has a part to play in this. So it is a matter of looking after everybody. And, and you know, um, maybe to just back up the bus a little bit when you're hot and bothered. Don't um, push send on your on your messages or, or social media or whatever. Take a step back. Think about what you're doing and what might be going on in another person's space. You know, we did the Equi Connect thing a little while ago, and Mark Jones, world champion harness racing driver, got up and talked about his journey through uh, mental health and and what that had meant. And there were people that had known Mark for thirty years and didn't know. Right. And they went, wow! If we'd have known that along, you know, things, you know, that's incredible. That mm. that explains a lot. And Mark yeah. had Mark had kept it to himself a fair bit, but he was quite proud to come and say, look, this is what I've done, and this is, you know, um, so yeah, you know, look at the person that you may be getting angered at or by, and say, you know, what's really going on there? Yeah. Is this about me or them or just what's going on in the environment? Yeah. And whatever you do, don't attack anybody on social media. It's not worth it. Good catch up, my friend. Yeah, cheers. And we'll see you very shortly.